has Curiosity discovered anything which suggests that Mars could have supported actual life? One of the wonderful things about this mission is that before we were halfway done with what we call the prime mission, we'd already taken data that told the scientists that in fact ancient Mars could have and would have supported life if life existed. So how do we find out whether it actually did support life? We yes. know in theory it could have. That's a tricky question. We keep asking Mars, are you alive? And it keeps answering, maybe. It won't say no, doesn't say categorically yes. Uh, detecting life is quite a challenge. We learned that, and we've learned a lot about detecting life over the past several decades. It may be that to unlock the question of life on Mars, we might have to bring pieces of Mars back to Earth to study here on Earth with the full complement of equipment and brains we have on this planet. Now, you're working on the next Mars mission. What's that going to be about? The next Mars mission is another surface mission to the surface of Mars with a big rover. Um, we're taking the same rover as we took before, a copy of it, and the same landing system that we developed before. But this time, we're going to be asking the next questions, and we're going to try to take samples from the surface of Mars and put them in a container, demonstrating that we can do that sample return effort if we should choose to do so in the future. What other planets are there out there that you're really excited about? Well, I have some friends who are biologists at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory where I work, and they are very keen about Europa, the ice moon of Jupiter. Where's that? In orbit around Jupiter, it's an icy moon with a crust of ice and a liquid water ocean. They think that that's the most likely spot in our solar system to have life existent today. I'd like to put something on the surface of that. And do you think that humans will be on Mars by the 2030s, as the president hopes for? I think that the act of exploration is one of our most fundamental human acts. Our curiosity and our exploration make us sort of unique amongst the animals on this planet. I sure hope that we continue to be able to express our exploration out into space. I'd love to see human footprints on the surface of Mars sometime in my lifetime. But are the Russians going to interfere with this space program? Now the US has put sanctions on Russia over Ukraine, the Russians are saying that they don't want to sell some specific rockets to the US. What's that going to mean? That uh, we certainly can overcome that difficulty if it remains. Uh, it, I think it underscores the, the, some of the benefits and some of the challenges of international collaboration. We're working towards a more interconnected international partnership. We'd like to see that main, maintained, but the United States is very capable of going alone if we must. Adam Steltzner, thank you for joining us. You're very welcome.